Okay, this is the my progress so far on the Odd Duck Foundry casting set for a Bettendorf truck. Uh, just, just a quick review. We've got, uh, I only have uh, one spring, I'm just, just holding them together. But uh, um, this, just so I can work with it, get the, get the springs in. But basically, got the wheels sets in, bearings. Uh, we went through some of this before, but uh, let me double check here and show you what. These are some of the parts that we machined up here. Did I take an additional quarter or eighth of an inch off the back? So it's getting awfully, awfully thin on the back side here. I mean, that's fine, the bearing's in the right position. But I'm thinking we don't need that as much um, uh, material on the back in the original casting. I don't think we need that. That uh, I think there's probably a good uh, oh three eighths of an inch of material I've taken off of the back. I just don't. I don't think it's necessary. I, I think I'd probably remove that from the, the pattern. You know why pour the why pour the metal. Um, that's that's my thoughts on that. Um, this is the bearing we're using, uh, half inch ID, inch and an eighth on the OD. Half, actually, after we got into it, you know, I was worried about that early on. You know, what, what kind of meat we were going to have left on there. Uh, actually, now that we're down in there, you know, it, it's not bad. There's plenty. Um, one tip that I. I did go a little oversize on the bore for so that the, the wheels would so, so I could lift, and I know that was something that they always say you should have. So I have the, which I think is nice. You can do that. That's important. What it says about that, so that the truck does. But I was just reading, uh, reading in one of the old model texts, and I, I didn't think about it though I should have. What they did was uh, fit the bore uh, to the bearing, and then. Um, moved down uh, you know started the top where they wanted the top edge to be and then they moved moved the pull the boring bar out move down um, three or four thousands and then go in again and take more off of the bottom basically creating an egg uh, shape so that way what happens is the bearing is fully let's see here so the bearing then it's instead of it being like I'm going to exaggerate just touching the top of it in an oversized bore, it's actually around it. The uh, the bore carries the load of the whole upper race, the upper side of the race. And that way, then to pivot, then there there won't be a problem with the pivoting. I don't know if it, how important that is. I'm not sure. Uh, I I could see a race flexing though on that and uh, that point load right on the the top edge being you know something. So <clears throat> the next set of trucks I do, I'll definitely try. I might try that, being that this was an experiment anyway. Uh, let's see, what else can we uh, mention? Like I said, this is just another set that I'm going to put together here momentarily. This is an axle, an axle set uh, that, I, that I made. I haven't put the bearings on the end yet. I just wanted to show you what we got so far. Um, a nice a light press uh, fit on here with uh, Loctite, permanent Loctite it on. And I was... Not too worried about that only in the sense of I'm going with what the I call uh, and I've seen it you know here again I'm looking at the model text again and I found it you know an old I from in the 80s the idea where they uh, separated one of the wheels on there uh, so I'm going with this uh, separated the wheel um, it spins on its own independent of the other so in general they both work together on the axle uh, but when you're making it going you know in a curve a little especially some of the tighter radiuses that we have um, it can it can turn on its own I'm gonna try it out. I've got a, uh, I've got the, you know, snap ring holding that in there. I got a washer. Uh, I made my own uh, thick washer behind that, and and put some uh, lithium grease in there. It's a nice fit. I mean, there's no wobble to it. Um, it's it spins. I think it's gonna work. I mean, they, I talked about a club track that that used this exclusively on all the riding cars. They were having a lot of trouble. Because of all the weight and in the curves, um, you know, chewing up the track and the wheels, and this basically eliminated it completely. I've seen one where they use a, a tube. Um, it'd be nice if the wheel actually had a longer. If I were to get re wheels recast, maybe go with a longer hub on the axle. 
but I think this is this is going to work. So I have those set up, and that should do it, I guess. So the next thing I'm going to do is I got a, a frame of the car I'm going to set on here. I got oh I got to cut these down yet. I haven't decided what the final height is going to be on these. Um, I mean you can see that this for the uh, uh, for the bolster where it meets with the body bolster. I'm going to definitely have to come up. Uh, this seems low to me. Uh, I'm not sure. But I think this does seem a little bit low uh, compared to the rest of the truck. So I'm going to have to work out something with that. Okay, and uh, of course it, you know, of course it rolls. I mean, I mean that, that goes without saying. That was going to work. So um, that should do it. Thanks for watching.